Hello folks, welcome back to WIF Facts, and for today's video, let's talk about those animals categorized as critically endangered species. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, can you please smash that like and subscribe button so you will be notified of future videos? Species categorized as critically endangered are at an exceedingly high risk of facing extinction in the near future, typically due to a combination of factors including human activities such as habitat loss, poaching, and climate change. These species span various taxonomic groups including mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and insects, among others. The disappearance of these animals not only results in a loss of biodiversity but also the potential elimination of essential ecological functions and services, as well as cultural significance for local communities. Consequently, it is crucial to implement conservation efforts aimed at safeguarding these species and their habitats to guarantee their survival. For future generations, according to the WWF, or World Wide Fund for Nature, on their species directory, here is the list of animals categorized as critically endangered in conservation status. First on our list are the elephants, such as the African forest elephant and the Sumatran elephant. African forest elephant. The African forest elephant is indigenous to the humid forests of West Africa and the Congo Basin, measuring 8 to 10 feet in height and weighing between 2 to 5 tons. They typically inhabit dense tropical forests, living in family groups that can number up to 20 individuals, and feed on leaves, grasses, seeds, fruit, and tree bark. Given their fruit-dominated diet, they play a vital role in dispersing the seeds of many tree species, including those of large trees that are high in carbon, leading to them being known as the mega-gardeners of the forest. To supplement their mineral intake, they congregate at mineral-rich waterholes and licks found throughout the forest. The major threat to the African forest elephant is the loss and fragmentation of their habitat due to human activities such as agriculture, livestock farming, and infrastructure development. As a result, human-elephant conflict has escalated. However, the most pressing danger comes from poaching for ivory which has caused the African forest elephant population to decline by 62% between 2002 and 2011, leading to a 30% reduction in their geographical range. Consequently, the IUCN has classified the African forest elephant as critically endangered as of 2021, while the Sumatran elephant, which is indigenous to Sumatra, an Indonesian island, is estimated to have a population of 2,400 to 2,800 individuals. They have a shoulder height of 5 to 9 feet, weigh around 5 tons, and can grow up to 20 feet in length. These elephants inhabit broadleaf moist tropical forests and have a diverse diet that contributes to the health of the forest ecosystem. By dispersing seeds, sharing their habitat with other endangered species such as Sumatran rhinos, tigers, and orangutans, the thriving elephant population helps sustain a healthy forest ecosystem. Unfortunately, the Sumatran elephant population has declined drastically over the last generation, leading to their classification as critically endangered in 2012. The primary causes of this decline are habitat loss due to deforestation and human-elephant conflicts. Deforestation has affected over two-thirds of their natural lowland forest in the past 25 years leading to local extinctions of elephants in many areas. Sumatran elephants are known for their smaller tusks, which make them an attractive target for poachers who sell the tusks on the illegal ivory market. As only male Asian elephants have tusks, poaching events further skew the sex ratio, which hinders breeding rates for the species. Next on our list are Amur leopard. The Amur leopard, one of the rarest cats on earth, is native to the Primorai region of southeastern Russia and northern China. There are only a few more than 84 individuals in the wild, weighing between 70 to 105 pounds and inhabiting temperate, broadleaf, and mixed forests. This species is incredibly agile and can run up to 37 miles per hour and leap more than 19 feet horizontally and up to 10 feet vertically. The Amur leopard is a solitary animal that carefully hides unfinished kills to protect them from other predators. Some males have been observed staying with females after mating and assisting in rearing the young. However, multiple males may compete for a female's attention. The Amur the leopard is important both ecologically and culturally, and protecting its habitat benefits other species such as Amur tigers and prey animals like deer. Sadly, the Amur leopard is often poached for its beautiful, spotted fur. Due to this and habitat loss, the species is critically endangered and listed as such on the IUCN Red List. In 2007, 
Only 19 to 26 individuals were estimated to survive in southeastern Russia and northeastern China. Appropriate conservation efforts are crucial for the survival of this magnificent species and the long-term protection of the region. Next are the Sunda Island Tiger. The Sunda Island Tiger is a subspecies of tiger that can be found in the Sunda Islands of Indonesia. With populations of less than 400, this tiger subspecies is characterized by its orange coat with heavy black stripes. It can weigh between 165 to 308 pounds and inhabits tropical broadleaf evergreen forests, freshwater swamp forests, and peat swamps. As an apex predator and obligate carnivore, the Sunda tiger's diet consists of mainly deer, wild pigs, fish, macaque monkeys, tapers, and porcupines. They will also consume crocodiles if they are able to catch them. Like their mainland counterparts, only about 1 in 10 hunts for Sunda tigers is successful, so they consume as much food as possible in one sitting. Once found across several parts of the Sunda Islands, the Sunda tiger's remaining population is now only found in Sumatra, as tigers in Java and Bali are extinct. Unfortunately, most tigers in Sumatra are deliberately killed for commercial purposes. According to a survey by Traffic, an organization that monitors the global wildlife trade. Almost 80% of Sumatran tiger deaths are due to poaching for trade, with at least 40 animals being killed every year. Despite conservation efforts and successful measures to curtail tiger bone markets, there is little evidence that tiger poaching has significantly declined in Sumatra since the 1990s. Human-tiger conflict is also a significant issue in Sumatra, as the tiger's territory is destroyed, causing them to enter human-occupied areas. This conflict conflict has resulted in the deaths of both people and tigers, with villagers taking retaliatory measures against the tigers. Next are the rhinos such as black rhino, Sumatran rhino, and Javan rhino. The hook-lipped rhinoceros, also known as the black rhinoceros, is a species of rhinoceros native to eastern and southern Africa, spanning Angola, Botswana, Kenya, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Eswatini, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Despite the name, the color of the species can range from brown to gray. The population of black rhinos is estimated to be over 6,000, and they typically stand at 5.2 feet tall and weigh between 1,760 and 3,080 pounds. Their habitats include semi-desert savannas, woodlands, forests, and wetlands. Compared to their white rhino counterparts, black rhinos are smaller and have hooked upper lips that allow them to feed on leaves from bushes and trees. As they are browsers who do not consume low-growing vegetation, black rhinos possess two horns that continue to grow throughout their lives from the skin at their base. The front horn is typically longer measuring around 19 inches. Rhinos are one of the oldest groups of mammals and play a crucial role in their ecosystems. In areas such as Namibia, black rhinos serve as a vital source of income from ecotourism, benefiting local communities in arid northwestern parts of the country that are home to Africa's largest free-roaming black rhino population. Protecting black rhinos benefits other species as well, including elephants, as they require large territories to thrive. Poaching remains the most significant threat to black rhino populations. The species' two horns make them highly valuable targets in the illegal rhino horn trade, with demand mainly coming from Asia for traditional medicine and as a status symbol. Between 1970 and 1990, 96% of the black rhino population was lost due to poaching. From 2008 to 2021, around 11,000 rhinos were poached in Africa, and the increase in poaching in South Africa has put conservation efforts at risk. However, there is hope. As more experts in traditional Chinese medicine are turning away from rhino horn in favor of herbal alternatives, another critically endangered species of rhino are Sumatran rhino. The Sumatran rhinoceros, also known as the Sumatran rhino, hairy rhinoceros, or Asian two-horned rhinoceros, is a species of rhinoceros that once roamed across a vast range from Bhutan and eastern India in the eastern Himalayas, through Myanmar, Thailand, and possibly to Vietnam and China, and south through the Malay Peninsula. Now Nowadays, the species is only found on the Indonesian islands of Sumatra and Borneo, with a population of fewer than 80 individuals, including about 30 mature ones, according to the IUCN. These rhinos can grow to a height of 3.3 to 5 feet and weigh 1,300.
320 to 2,090 pounds, with a length of 6.5 to 13 feet. They inhabit dense highland and lowland tropical and subtropical forests, and are the smallest of the living rhinoceroses and the only Asian rhino with two horns. Sumatran rhinos are covered with long hair, and their calves are born with a dense covering that turns reddish brown in young adults and becomes sparse, bristly, and almost black in older animals. They have a very varied diet that may include more than 100 plant species and are browsers and opportunistic feeders. Rhino horn is in high demand in many parts of Asia due to its purported medicinal qualities and as an ornament that connotes social status and prestige. This has resulted in an unsustainable increase in poaching across Africa and Asia. The Sumatran rhino's habitat is being lost or degraded due to invasive species, road construction, and encroachment for agricultural expansion. For instance, the Bukit Barisan Selatan National Park in Sumatra is losing forest cover because of illegal conversion for coffee and rice by settlers. Protection for these rhinos is insufficient in existing protected areas and when they move outside of those areas, communities are not sufficiently engaged or incentivized to protect them. The last rhino on our list are the Javan rhino. The Javan rhinoceros, also known as the Javan rhino, Sunda rhinoceros, or lesser one-horned rhinoceros, was once the most widely distributed of the Asian rhinoceroses. Its range extended from the islands of Java and Sumatra throughout Southeast Asia, and into India and China. The population of Javan rhinos is slightly over 70 individuals, and they stand at a height of 4.6 to 5.8 feet, weigh 1,984 to 5,071 pounds, and have a length of 10 to 10.5 feet. They live in tropical forests and have dusky gray skin, loose folds that give the appearance of armor plating, and a single horn of up to 10 inches. Although they look similar to the greater one-horned rhinoceros, they have smaller heads and less apparent skin folds. Javan rhinos have a diverse diet consisting of hundreds of food plant species, but about 40% of their food comes from a few common plants. They primarily eat leaves, young shoots, and twigs, and prefer unshaded areas with vegetation without tall trees or shrubland. Unfortunately, the Javan rhino is one of the most endangered large mammals on the planet, and only one population survives in the world, which is found in a protected area. The species' biology is not well understood, and low genetic diversity and inbreeding could make it challenging for the species to survive in the long term. The Yujung Kulon National Park where the Javan rhinos live, faces multiple threats. The park is susceptible to tsunamis and volcanic eruptions, and rising sea levels due to climate change further endanger the habitat. The Oranga palm has taken over some areas of the park, reducing natural forage and habitat quality, while disease outbreaks have also affected the population. The park is facing habitat degradation from encroaching human settlements and economic development, including ecotourism. Next are the orangutans such as Bornean orangutan and Sumatran orangutan. The Bornean orangutan is a great ape species native to the island of Borneo and the only one of its kind found in Asia. Its population is estimated to be around 104,700 individuals, and it can grow up to a height of 3.3 to 4.6 feet and weigh between 66 to 220 pounds. Bornean orangutans reside in lowland rainforests, tropical, swamp and mountain forests. They differ in appearance from Sumatran orangutans, having a broader face, shorter beard and slightly darker color. Their diet consists of 60% fruit and other plant materials, including leaves, bark, flowers, nuts, and sometimes insects and small mammals. Orangutans are primarily solitary animals and are known to travel by brachiating, swinging from one branch to another by the arms, through trees using corridors in the forest canopy. The illegal wildlife trade poses a significant threat to the Bornean orangutan population. The young orangutans are highly sought after as pets and can fetch several several hundred dollars each in nearby island markets. Studies suggest that between 200 to 500 orangutans from Indonesian Borneo alone are traded annually. The pet trade is detrimental to wild orangutan populations as orangutans have an extremely low reproductive rate. Additionally, there is a market for orangutan parts in Kalimantan, with orangutan skulls being sold for up to $70 in towns. Bornean orangutans are also vulnerable to conflict with humans. When orangutans move into agricultural areas, areas, such as oil palm plantations, 
and destroy crops, they may be shot in retaliation. This occurs mainly during times of food scarcity when orangutans can't find enough food in the forest. While Sumatran orangutan is exclusive to the northern region of the Indonesian island of Sumatra, with a population of 14,613 individuals, they weigh between 66 to 198 pounds and are about 4 to 5 feet in length. They inhabit tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests and are smaller in size compared to Bornean orangutans. Orangutans. Sumatran orangutans have a lighter colored coat that is orange red, with longer beards. Male Sumatran orangutans have narrower and less pronounced throat pouches and fleshy pads on their cheeks than male Bornean orangutans. Sumatran orangutans lead solitary lives and spend up to 60% of their time searching for and consuming food. They can occupy large home ranges but typically travel only half a mile per day. They build nests high up in the canopy from folded branches for sleeping at night. The diet of Sumatran orangutans consists mainly of fruit, especially figs, but they also eat vegetation such as leaves bark, flowers, and insects when fruit is scarce. Orangutan habitat in North Sumatra is being lost rapidly due to forest fires and conversion to oil palm plantations and other agricultural development. A major road development project in northern Sumatra threatens to fragment the forest, providing access for illegal logging activities and human settlements. Despite legal protection since 1931, orangutans are still captured from the wild for the pet trade and hunted for food in some areas. Next Next are gorillas. There are two gorilla species in the world, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. Eastern lowland gorilla and mountain gorilla are subspecies of the eastern gorilla while western lowland gorilla and cross river gorilla are subspecies of the western gorilla. The eastern lowland gorilla, also known as Grower's gorilla, is native to the mountainous forests of eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo, and it is the largest subspecies of gorilla. It stands at a height of 4 to 5.5 feet when on 2 feet and can weigh up to 440 pounds. Its stocky body, large hands, and short muzzle distinguish it from other gorillas, and it has a jet black coat. Although the hair on its head and body is shorter, the male's coat turns gray as they mature, earning them the name silverback, as with other gorillas. Gorillas spend many hours feeding on plant matter and mainly subsist on fruit and other herbaceous materials. These social apes form stable groups that stay together for long periods, resembling family structures. Eastern lowland gorilla groups are usually larger than those of western gorillas, with up to 30 individuals including a silverback, females, and their offspring. Habitat loss and fragmentation have been significant problems for the eastern lowland gorilla. As humans have moved into the gorilla's territory, destroying and breaking up their forest habitat to make way for farming and livestock, only a small portion of the gorilla's range is protected, such as Cahuzibiega National Park. But even there, park rangers have difficulty patrolling borders and safeguarding the gorillas. Illegal mining for minerals such as tin, gold, diamonds, and particularly Colton, which is used in cell phones, is prevalent throughout the eastern lowland gorillas range. This mining has fueled civil unrest in the area and attracted migrants who hunt the gorillas for bushmeat, medicine, and infant trade. Cross River Gorilla The Cross River Gorilla, which is a subspecies of the western gorilla, is found in the forested hills and mountains of the Cameroon-Nigeria border region, at the headwaters of the Cross River. Nigeria This subspecies is the most western and northern form of gorilla, and and has a population of only 200 to 300 individuals. When standing on two feet, they reach a height of 4 to 5.5 feet and weigh up to 440 pounds. Although they are similar in appearance to the western lowland gorilla, they have some subtle differences in skull and tooth dimensions. Cross river gorillas display a unique behavior of nesting, building their nests within trees during the wet season, April through November, and on the ground during the dry season, November onward. Their diet is influenced by the season as well as they prefer fruit but switch to vegetation, liana, and tree bark during times of scarcity. They help disperse seeds by eating fruit and prune the rainforest when their diet shifts to vegetation and bark. In terms of social structure, cross-river gorilla groups consist of one dominant male, several females, and their offspring. Although hunting and killing gorillas is illegal in Cameroon and Nigeria, enforcement of wildlife laws is often inadequate, resulting in the continued threat of hunting to this already small population. Despite conservation efforts. Any amount of gorilla killing could have a significant impact on the Cross River Gorilla population. The Western Lowland Gorilla is another subspecies of the Western Gorilla. They inhabit montane, primary and secondary forest and lowland swampland in Central Africa, 
including Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Republic of the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon. They are the smallest of the four gorilla subspecies, standing 4 to 5.5 feet on 2 feet and weighing up to 440 pounds. Distinguished from other gorilla subspecies by their slightly smaller size, brown gray coats and auburn chests, wider skulls with more pronounced brow ridges, and smaller ears, their coat color is black with short, thin, gray black to brown black hair covering the body, except the face. Primarily herbivorous, western lowland gorillas consume pith, shoots, leaves, and over 100 fruit species. When fruits are scarce, they supplement their diet with leaves, pith, shoots, bark, and insects. The smallest of all gorilla family groups, they average 4 to 8 members. Western lowland gorillas face various threats. The Ebola virus, which has caused massive gorilla and chimpanzee die-offs in remote forests, has killed about one-third of the wild gorilla population, mostly western lowland gorillas. Hunting and killing gorillas for bushmeat or as pets is illegal but still prevalent. In northeast Congo, about 5% of western lowland gorillas in the region are killed each year. Timber and other companies have also facilitated poaching and the bushmeat trade by opening up once remote forests. Next on our list are Sayola. The Sayola, also known as Spindlehorn, Asian Unicorn, or Vu Quang Bovid, is a rare forest-dwelling bovine found in Vietnam and Laos within the Anamite Range. These animals stand at an average height of 33 inches at the shoulder and weigh between 176 to 220 pounds. They live in evergreen forests with little to no dry season. Both males and females have two parallel horns that can grow up to 20 inches in length and have sharp ends. The Sayola's face is marked with striking white patterns, and they have large maxillary glands on their muzzle which may be used for territorial marking or to attract mates. Their diet consists of all types of plants, but they show a preference for Sterculyces species. Despite being discovered over two decades ago, very little is known about these enigmatic creatures. They are are critically endangered, and none exist in captivity. Only four sightings of Sayola in the wild have been documented by scientists to date. The loss of their forest habitat due to agriculture, plantations, and infrastructure development is a major concern for conservationists. The rapid and large-scale infrastructure projects in the region are fragmenting Sayola habitat and providing easy access to hunters, which may reduce genetic diversity in the future. Next are hawksbill turtle. The hawksbill sea turtle is primarily primarily found in tropical and subtropical marine and estuary ecosystems across the globe. These turtles can weigh between 90 to 150 pounds and have a length of 30 to 35 inches. They are commonly found in coral reefs, where they feed on sponges, sea anemones, and jellyfish using their narrow, pointed beaks to extract them from crevices. The hawksbill sea turtle gets its name from its narrow, pointed beak and distinctive pattern of overlapping scales on its shell, which form a serrated edge. However, this unique shell also makes them highly valuable, and they are often sold as tortoise shell in illegal markets. Despite being protected under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, Sites, and National Laws, illegal trade in hawksbill shells and products still persists. The demand for tortoise shell items for jewelry and ornaments is particularly high in Eastern Asia. Hawksbills are also at risk of entanglement in gillnets and accidental capture on fishing hooks. Next are vaquita. The northern Gulf of California in Baja California, Mexico is home to the vaquita, a porpoise species that is endemic to this region. With a population of only about 10 individuals, the vaquita is the world's rarest marine mammal. Standing up to 5 feet tall and weighing up to 120 pounds, the vaquita has a distinctive appearance, with a dark ring around its eyes and dark patches on its lips that form a thin line from the mouth to the pectoral fins. Its dorsal surface is dark gray, its sides are pale gray, and its ventral surface surface is white with long, light gray markings. These shy animals are typically solitary or found in pairs and tend to avoid boats with active engines, making them difficult to observe. The quitas primarily feed on small fish, crustaceans like shrimp, and cephalopods such as squid and octopuses. However, they face a serious threat from fishery bycatch, with nearly one out of every five faquitas getting entangled and drowning in gillnets intended for other marine species, such as the totoaba, which is also critically endangered and found in the same area. Urgent action is needed to eliminate this threat and prevent the extinction of the vaquita. Last on our list are Yangtze finless porpoise. The Yangtze finless porpoise, a type of toothed whale, is exclusive to China's Yangtze River, with a population of 1,000 to 1,800 individuals 
individuals and a length of 6.2 feet. These porpoises inhabit lakes and rivers. They are easily recognizable by their playful grin and are considered intelligent creatures similar to gorillas. Their diet consists mainly of fish, prawns, squid, octopus, and shrimp, requiring a plentiful food source to survive. Unfortunately, overfishing, pollution, and ship traffic have contributed to the decline in their food supply. The Yangtze finless porpoise is highly impacted by human activity, increasing its risk of endangerment. Gill nets and illegal fishing result in numerous deaths, while land reclamation and infrastructure projects have damaged and separated their habitats. Other threats include dredging, sand mining, water pollution, vessel strikes, and noise disturbance. The conservation of critically endangered animals is a matter of great urgency and importance. These animals play a vital role in maintaining the balance of our planet's ecosystems, and their loss could have devastating consequences for our environment and society as a whole. We all have a responsibility to take action and do our part to protect and restore these populations. This may involve supporting conservation organizations, advocating for policy changes, or making individual individual lifestyle changes that reduce our impact on the environment. With collective effort and commitment, we can make a meaningful difference in the fight to save these magnificent animals and ensure a sustainable future for generations. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll hope to see you in the next one.